Today we're going to take a look at using the distributive property to divide and we're going to be focusing on place value. Now the distributive property basically means you can split your dividend into smaller chunks and make it easier for you to divide. Some characteristics, and if you look down at the example you can see, it says the sum of all dividends equals the original dividend. In the example, you have 484 divided by 4 equals 121. And below that, you can see where they split up the dividend, and it's 400 plus 80 plus 4 divided by 4 equals 121. So being able to split it up, but the sum of all those dividends have to equal the original, which was 484. Now the second thing is the divisor always has to remain the same. Divisor being the number we're dividing by, which is, in this case, is number 4. Okay, now let's take a look at a problem. John went to the video game store and spent $484 on four video games. How much did he each game cost if they were all the same price? Now, as with all word problems, first thing we want to do is we want to do our win and our wink. The win standing for what I know, and the wink is what I need to know. Now, what do you know about it is, number one, that he spent a total of $484. He bought four games and each had the same price. Now what you're trying to find out is located at the bottom of the question is what was the price of each video game? Now in order to make sure we choose the right operation to solve this problem, it's best to draw a picture. What you see on the screen is a standard diagram we use for drawing pictures. On top you see 484 and our win we knew that was the total amount that was spent. Underneath that we have a rectangle and it indicates the total amount, which is 484. If you notice, that rectangle is split into four different pieces, and that symbolizes the four video games. Now that we have our drawing, we can take a look at our drawing, and we can see that the whole of 484 needs to be split up into four equal pieces. So we know that 484 needs to be divided by 4 in order to find out how much each segment of our rectangle is worth. Now that we have our equation, the first part we need to do in order to use the distributive property is to break our dividend, which is the number we're going to divide up, into expanded form. Now if you notice I've put a place value chart up, and it shows the hundredths place, the tenths place, and the ones place. Now I've put the four, the eight, and the four in its proper location. What this allows us to do is we can look up and we say there and there were four hundreds. So we're right below the four, I wrote four hundred. Then we have eight in the tens place, which was eighty, and four in the ones place, which was equal to four. Even though we have broken it apart, if you add them all together, it still equals four hundred and eighty-four. Now this is one way of representing the distributive property. As you can see, that the sum of 400 plus 800 plus 4 can be divided by 4. Now, if we wanted to make this simpler to see, we can distribute our divisor to each one of our parts of our dividend. As you see below, we got 400 divided by 4 plus 80 divided by 4 plus 4 divided by 4. Now this allows us to use our previous lesson where we were multiplying or dividing by tens, hundreds, or thousands. If you look at 400 divided by 4, we disregard the two zeros. We got 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And we put the two zeros back in and we got 100. In the second, in the tens place, we have 80 divided by 4. We disregard the zero and we got 8 divided by 4, which equals 2. Put our zero back in we got 20. In the ones position, we got 4 divided by 4, which equals 1. Now that we have our three partial quotients, we can sum them up. 100 plus 20 plus 1 equals 121. So we know that 484 divided by 4 equals 121. Each video game costs $121. Well, I hope you have a better understanding on how to divide by using the distributive property. See you in the next lesson.